The serenity and solitude of VIU's Milner Gardens is only paralleled by the beauty of its view that's overlooking the Georgia Strait. An ancient forest and a garden oasis by the sea, as it's called, the Gardens Summer Music Series is back. An evening of music at Milner Gardens in the summertime is, is magical. Uh, it's, uh, first of all, you know, to sit back and listen to music and then look out and, and enjoy, say, watching sunset over top of Denman and Hornby. Uh, it's a pretty unique venue. The garden was incorporated into Malaspina's hands in 1996, but before that it was a private residence for a very wealthy Canadian businessman and his wife. Now it's used for many different purposes, including training horticultural students. Milner Gardens has really grown uh, as far as a place to come and experience. It's part of the community. It's a fantastic space for people to come and, and experience a bit. And not just for the history and for the, uh, the garden itself, but buffering the, the gardens and the, the busy highway is this 60 acres of old growth forest that you can walk through. Not only the, the views, the uh, beautiful feeling that you get from the nature around you, but the staff and all the volunteers that really want to be here. In addition to the summer concert series, they have plant sales and a great Christmas light show. But one of its main attractions is the afternoon tea. So you can sit back and enjoy a cup of old tea and in a china cup and uh, with fresh scones and Devon cream, uh, homemade jam, and serve by a group of just wonderful volunteers. So this place has a lot of history, but get this, it also has a royal connection. Princess Diana and Prince Charles were here 25 years ago. Veronica Milner, who was the woman who saw this handed over to uh, what's now Vancouver Island University, she actually was distant cousins with Lady Diana. And uh, she was seventh cousins. Uh, her mother was first cousins with Churchill. So she was very well connected and um, in 1986, while Diana and Charles were out opening up Expo, they actually they took a hovercraft and landed on the beach and came up and they had an afternoon of uh, just enjoying the gardens, having tea with Veronica and some guests. Same thing happened the following year when the Queen and Prince Philip had a visit during the Commonwealth Conference in Victoria and Jeff says that they hope to see Will and Kate someday. We were getting ourselves set to, to make a, a suggestion or an invitation to them and then we found out that they were cancelling their BC wing. So uh, if they do come back, if any of the royal come back, there will be an invitation going out. We would love to have them.